At last, I reached my office at the Rodents Gazette. Good morning, everyone, I said as I came through the door. My secretary, Marcella McMauser, rushed up to me. Mr. Stilton, I did not know you were coming in today, she squeaked. I thought you'd be getting ready for your Christmas Eve party. I smiled. I smiled. I just came in to sign a few papers, I said. Marcella straightened her glasses. I noticed she was staring at me strangely. Um, don't take this the wrong way, she mumbled. But aren't you hot in that outfit? Before I could answer, the door flew open. In raced Benjamin. He was swallowed by Thea and my cousin Trap. As soon as Thea saw me, she burst out laughing. Jerry James, she shrieked, pointing to my dad up, who dressed you this morning. You look like a giant puffy cheese ball. Then she collapsed in a fit of diddles. Trap stuck his snout right up to mine. Off to the North Pole, Geronimo's, he smirked. When are you leaving? I rolled my eyes. First of all, I am not going to the North Pole, he squeaked. And second, my name is Geronimo. That made my cousin roar with laughter. Soon, he and Thea were both rolling around on the floor in hysterics. I sighed. Those two are as different as a carton of cottage cheese and a box of caramel Swiss cheese juice. But they have one thing in common. They love to tease me. Only Benjamin didn't crack up. Instead, he gave me a hug. My partner was so soft, he sunk right in. We just came by to say hi to Uncle Geronimo, he explained. Then he leaned close to whisper in my ear. Good thing you dressed up warmly, he said. It is colder than the freezer that at the icy red. Perfect for building a snow mouse.